Hello YouTube and welcome to this Gromforks. This is a special episode for all you naval action fans out there and today we will be featuring USS Constitution, the real ship. Uh, incidentally, I was uh, uh, on a trip to Boston and I managed to visit the real deal. So, USS Constitution, or commonly known as I old Ironsides is a heavy frigate ordered and named by President George Washington after the Constitution of the United States and it was built and launched in Boston in, 19, in 1797 during the administration of John Adams the second president. Here you can see it's uh, uh, the real USS Constitution uh, which is uh, at the museum display in the Charleston Naval Yard in Boston. Sadly, I didn't have a chance to actually board the actual ship, but uh, um, yeah, it's very interesting to see. Now, its armament, as you can see here on the sides, were 30 24 pounder long cannons that could fire up a 24 pound uh, cannonballs up to 1200 yards in range and those were mounted 15 on each side on the lower gun deck um, on the upper deck it mounted a total of uh, 22 32 pounder carronades on the spar deck that you can see um, at, at in here and those had 400 yards of range um, by the way these guns that you see have been re-added in the restoration of 1927 to 1931 and those are replicas um, so yeah, these carronades uh, were able to um, fire a 32-pound uh, hollow shot up to 400 yards in range, causing some massive damage. Now, <clears throat> a little bit more about the USS Constitution. It had a m maximum speed of 13 knots and it had a complement of 450 crew. Um, the interesting thing that you can see here is the figurehead. Uh, in the 1906, it had two figureheads, one for the wartime that you will see now. So this was the wartime figurehead, and the second one was the peacetime figurehead, which it is still carrying today. It, the figureheads changed during the history, but those were two uh, that were... So this is the peacetime figurehead that she carries also today. Now, the interesting thing is that within its over 200 years of service, it, it is the oldest commissioned warship still afloat. HMS Victory, although 30 years older than the Constitution, was in dry dock since 1922. Um... USS Constitution was never vanquished in com combat and most notable battle was in 1812 when she got her nickname the Old Ironsides during the battle with HMS with, with the ship Guerriere and that was a 38 gun frigate of the French Navy. At that time Constitution was commanded by Captain Isaac Hull and he was using his heavier broadsides and his ship improved sailing ability. He managed to surprise uh, uh, the British. So uh, during, yeah, sorry, Guerrier was uh, at the time a uh, HMS Guerrier. So uh, at, uh, adding to the astonishment of the crew, uh, many of the Guerrier's shots rebounded harmlessly of the Constitution's hull, and American sailor reportedly exclaimed, Huzzah! Her sides are made of iron, and in such Constitution gain its nickname, the Old Iron Sides. Um, here you can see it uh, in the Charleston Naval Yard, and since May of 2015, she has been put to dry dock for what will be a three-year-old, three-year-long restoration, uh, namely, uh, which is, will be the most extensive restoration since her. Uh, I believe since her launch in 1797, and it is funded. 
by the visitors. The whole ship and the museum accompanying it is completely free to visit, but it's um, I don't, it, they accept donations. So, yes, um, so the ship got the name Old Ironsides du- when, during the Battle of Guerrier and not due to its copper plating, which is now being replaced, as you can see below. Uh, I think it has some 38,000 copper plates and those will be replaced during the restoration. If you get a chance to go to the museum, you w- might get a chance to actually sign the plates that will be going on the Constitution, thus becoming parts of its, of its history. So, that pretty much sums it up. I hope you like this special episode. Like if you like and hit subscribe for more naval action. Thanks again for watching. This is Grumforks signing off.